Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing a craft room tour today. It is finally here. I finally feel like I'm ready to show you my space. So as you may see, I have my bed. This is my bed right here. Um, I'm going to span down real quick. This big bump in my pillow blanket is my cat. <laughs> um, so this is my bedroom. Um, and I'm just going to pan out real quick. Hopefully I won't make you too dizzy. But again, you can see my bed is right there. And this is my craft space right. I do have a king size bed. So I have quite a bit of bedroom, big bedroom that um, is very conducive to having a nice big craft space. I just want to let you know this is going to be a pretty chatty video. I am going to go through a lot of my organization and what I've done and kind of how I've um, organized each of my different components. Um, just so you know, some of the things that I do is I have, if you're just coming in because you saw this craft for craft room tour and you don't know who I am, I um, do happy planner layouts, which are more like scrapbooking layouts. Um, so I'll insert a little bit of an idea of what that looks like here. So you can take a little, just a quick peek of what that is. So I do happy planner layouts. So I have a lot of things that are for happy planner layouts. And then I also do junk journaling. So I get, I am on the design team for Cheaply Chic and she does junk journaling kits, um, collections every month. And, um, I am grateful that I'm on her, her her design team because I she gifts those to us and then um so you will also see quite a bit of that in the room so those are kind of my two main hobbies that I I do so now you have a little bit of reference to what those things are when you're when I'm going through the space you'll kind of you'll kind of have some context to what I'm talking about when I'm talking about those things Okay, so I've kind of moved in a little bit closer. You can see my big black chair. Um, this is a desk from Ikea. It's a corner unit desk. I will leave the links down below in the description for all of the items in the room, all the furniture. These um, little um, drawer things right here are a from Michael's. So I will try to find those and also leave those. So it serves two purposes. It serves as a desk part of an extension of my desk plus since my bed's right there it serves as like kind of like my nightstand um so yeah so what I thought I would do is kind of start from here and then go around the room so that is my plan so we'll see how that works these two units right here are both from Michaels and as you can see the there are six drawers. They are 12 by 12 drawers. They're a little actually bigger than 12 by 12. So they do fit 12 by 12 paperbacks in, which is really helpful. Um, and as you can kind of see, you can kind of see at the very top here, they, it lines up perfectly with this desk unit. So it's really nice. I'm gonna pan up just a little bit more. It's really nice because I don't like to keep anything on top of there. Like sometimes I keep water and stuff at night or, or like, Sometimes I keep my phone there at night, but I don't like keeping anything on that desk because it serves as a really nice place to kind of use as a as a work surface. So I could try to keep it as clean as possible. As you can see, I do have some tissue box right there, um, but I kind of put it in the corner out of the way. So I'm gonna go through what is in each of these um, drawers. Okay, as you can see, I have labels. I don't have my computer label but basically this is my computer drawer like I have all my computer like my laptop in here with my mouse and everything so that's not even crafty but I do actually love having a space to put my computer um you'll have to excuse my big scratch mark okay so in here is um my happy planner let me pull it out real quick so in here I have, sorry, this is kind of an awkward positioning, but basically in this drawer is Happy Planner things that I'm gonna be using in the next month and also this month. So for instance, like this is gonna be my next, in my next planner layout. 
And then I've got some journal cards in here for some um, Valentine's Day layouts that I have. So I built like kits, which I actually will show you when I get to my sticker collection, kind of what I'm talking about, but I've built kits. So what I do is I put in this drawer, I put planner layouts for the month the, the month that I'm in. And then, you know, since we're now we're in the fourth week, I start putting in um, planner kits for February. All right, so um, the next drawer in here is going to be um, Cheaply Chic's design team. So as I said at the beginning, I'm a, cheap, I'm a design team member. And basically what it is, is these three kits are from previous kits that I haven't been able to do. So what I've been doing on my channel for the last two Fridays is I've been doing, um, I've been kind of working on these three kits plus the two most current ones to try to get all five of them done so that I have all five of them done. <laughs> so that's what's in here. So I've got the, the kits, the collection kits in these um, plastic containers. These are containers that I get from, let me pull it out. These are containers that I get from the Dollar Tree and I love them. Um, they're hard to find, so I always pick them up if I do see clear. The clear ones are way hard to find, but I always check the like stationary area for them, like where the file folders and stuff are. Um, so I always grab a couple if I do see them. So in this next drawer is um, the future project. <laughs> so uh, my son is going on a trip to Alaska and I want to make him a journal book so that he can journal the process in his trip. And so that is this, that's what this is. And then I recently, a couple months ago, bought a kit, um, a Hobby Lobby kit. I'll leave a link to that haul right there if you're interested in seeing all the pieces that are in here. But basically what I've done is I've just put that kit in here so that It'll motivate me to get that journal done because I really want to get that journal done. So in this drawer are even more future projects. Um, so this is my current projects, next project, and future projects. So I'm not going to open that drawer because Kim with Creative Crafticalities might be watching this video and there's some goodies in there for her that I don't want her to see. So I'm not going to open that drawer, <laughs> but that's what that is. And then in this bottom one, I just have... Um, <laughs> I just have computer paper. Oh, there's my stash. Don't tell anybody that I have a candy stash. <laughs> and I have my candy stash and my computer paper and printer, my photo printer paper in that bottom drawer. And that, that bottom drawer is a little hard to open because I think the weight of everything. But um, that's kind of why I keep that down there. So because I don't need to get to that very often. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is what's under here. Underneath, this is my bed right here. So I'm going to show you what's under here. So that's the next... Thing I'm gonna go through. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge, I think, to get everything in here. So I have this under the bed drawer that, that did not even come with this bed that I currently have. It came with another bed that I had. And I've just kept this drawer because it seems to work. Now I have my <laughs> bed on platform, um, like platform things, and it's so it's really tall. But basically, this is one of my favorite things in my craft room, and I'm gonna pull this drawer out. Oh, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> oh, it makes me happy. So this is all of my lace, my fabrics, and my ribbon, all in this drawer. And I woke up at like four o'clock in the morning, um, and I had this brilliant idea to do this. I'm like, oh my God, I can keep all of my fabric and all of my lace in one spot. And so basically what this is, is I've used these little plastic things that I get at the Dollar Tree. They are just little cutting mat things and I cut them up and then I just wrap the lace and everything around those little mats. And I don't have them color coordinated or anything, but basically, I'm going to kind of sort of do, but not really. So basically this is all of my lace right here. And then I have like little, these little containers are also from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, I'm going to be saying from the Dollar Tree a lot in this video. Um, these are little containers that are in like the tool section. And I just use it for like the fibers and stuff. Because um, Cheaply Chic gives us a lot of fibers in her um, in her collection. So I do have quite a bit of fibers from that. 
Um, and the nice thing, I don't really like how it looks on this side, but if you flip it over, it looks really pretty. And then you can kind of see all of the different things that you have and it's nice and compact and I literally can just come in here and go like, okay, do I want to use that one? <laughs> so I love this little, these little containers. And again, it's just for the little bits and buys. I actually need, I put one in here and I need to grab, go because I need to go get another one of these um, so that I can have another one. And then this is just kind of writ, like just set ribbons. So ribbons that have sets of stuff like, you know, like things that are already set together. And then back there, these are really cool um, little uh, spool things that I got from a friend of mine. So I just keep ribbon on that. And then all of my fabrics are here. I know it's really hard to see back there, it's kind of dark, but basically it's all fabric. And what I've done is in between here, I don't know if you can see, but this white little bar right here that I'm pointing to, I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh there, that's a better angle. Okay, so this right here, this white bar is an attention rod. It's a tension rod for a curtain. And so what I did is I put two on the sides and that kind of separates this to keep it all in place. And it's actually cool because I actually have quite a bit more room in here, but since it's kind of like almost, I don't know, just kind of works itself out because the tension rod is keeping this upright. Um, so then I put a tension rod here and I put a tension rod on this side and then on there's one right here to keep my fabrics all together and lined up. This area, I have like my doilies. So these are all of my kind of crochet or fabric doilies. So when I want a doily, I just come and kind of look through that little area. These two things are kind of for book binding. So when I want to find a book, a journal book, I just grab um, these two little bags. And then I've got some... Hold on, let me turn the camera a little bit. I got some uh, doilies in here and some napkins for decoupaging and things like that. And then on these tension rods, again, these are both tension rods right here, there's my ribbon. So anytime I wanna use a ribbon, I just can pull, I just come over and pull the ribbon and then cut how much I want off. And then I do have some of them that are say, like pinned with little pins because they're, they keep you know just falling off. But most of them are staying pretty good. Like you can see I just added the ones for the ones I got right there from the Dollar Tree. I just got those in a haul video. So yeah, I really love this. This is like so perfect. And it's right next to my my because my literally my desk is right there. So I can just swing my chair around, pull this drawer out, and see what what ribbons I want to use. So I'll give you kind of a an overall view of it so in the camera it's funny because it looks very messy but it's really not it's very organized and very like each little section is very organized so I'm really really pleased with this All right. so I've used every single piece of storage that I could possibly get out of my room and the way that I've done that is used a lot of storage for underneath my bed so as I can, as I told you before, my bed is on risers. It's nice because I got quite a bit of storage space underneath. Now I got these boxes at Daiso Japan. Um, so it's basically like, uh, it's kind of like a five below kind of thing, but it's um, it's, I and I don't know if they have them nationwide. Um, I know they have them in California and Texas, but I'm not sure where else they have them. But that's where I got these ones at and I love them because they're gray and they have handles on three sides. So they have a handle on this side and then on the front side and then on the back side, on the other side. So you can permit, to, you can have them sideways or you can have them long ways and they have a handle. So I'm gonna show you what's it's, what is in each of the boxes. Okay, so this first box, I have my um, cutter that I hate using. I don't even know why I keep it because I don't even like using it, but just in case I need a sec extra cutter. Handheld tripod. And then I have my film for my can printer. I have my big um, glue sticks, my big glue gun. This is my Canon printer. This is my fuse tool. Um, I have my blowy thingy. What's this called? I don't know. Air gun thing. Um, and then this is my little score pad. And then this kind of just sits on top, even though 
I don't really like it there, but <laughs> and I just scoots back in and then I have my Happy Planner punch literally just sitting right next to it. And in this one I have my punches. So I have a bunch of We Are Memory Keepers punches, the tab punch, the, um, they're all dusty and gross. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, pocket punch. Um, and then I have, this is like a little corner rounder thing. I have a hexagon punch in here. So these are just my punches. I have more punches. So I just have a bunch of punches. I don't really use punches very often, so I don't have that many, but um, I love this one. It's the doily punch. Makes a six, six by six paper pad, paper sheet into a, um, a doily. And then my ticket punch. I wish I wouldn't use these more because I really do like the ones that I have. All right, and then this one, I have notebooks and thank you cards. So a lot of these notebooks were from the Dollar Tree. Um, so just have my little collection of notebooks. And in this one, I have die cuts, which I, again, don't use very often. Um, this happens just to be a thing of magnets that I don't know what to do with. So I just threw it in here. Um, but that's my die cut machine and I don't really like it and I don't really use it. So I wish I used it more, but I don't and it's all right. So I moved my chair. My chair is usually sitting right here. So this section is making up one of the sections of the corner. So I have quite a bit of space here to work within because I have all of this area and then I have the little side desk and then I have this additional desk over here. So um, I've got quite a bit of space. You're going to have to just bear with me with the lighting. I know it's not the best, but it's what I have for now. So what I want to do is go over what's in these little drawers and then kind of like what's this little area. Just bear with me. Um, so I'm really going to quickly go through this because honestly, most of it is just stuff. Um, so these little container things I got at Daiso Japan, they're three uh, um, drawers. So I have one, two, three, four stacked up on top of each other. Basically what's in here is just things I need. So like I have staples, I have a, a nose, I have a glass cleaner in here, um, erasers, white out. Um, I don't even know why that's in here. And then I've got like my tools, you know, knives and bone folders and stuff. Then I have a bunch of charms. So the charms are pretty much like these are my bead charms. It's just, just different elements in here. And then I have these little ones that I got these little cases at, um, there's like, I think I got these at my uh, Walmart. So I just stuck them in here, a little stuff in them. So that's basically all that's in this little drawer. And then I keep my tissue box here cause I don't get in those drawers very often. Okay, so let's go. Let's talk about this stuff right here. So these are books that I got at Hobby Lobby. And the last time I was there, they did not have any of these books left. So I don't know if they discontinued them or if they're even selling them anymore. But basically, they're just a little like photo album book. I have four of them here. And what I've done with these four is I've put in planner stickers. So, and they are sectioned out. Um, so this little thing right here is an old attempt at making one of those little photo books. And so it just has a bunch of old um, Happy Planner and a note that my son wrote me years ago. <laughs> um, and they just sit right, it just sits right here. Um, and then so let's just go through what's in here. So again. I'll go through these real quick. Um, again, they're not probably the most organized, but I know where they, I know that what the stuff is in them. So these plastic container things, I don't have any idea where I got them. I've had them for a long time. I think Walmart. Um, but you can use like just a, a folder, like a folder with a pocket and just cut it to your size and punch holes in it. That's basically what I did. Um, so this is all like numbers and then uh, days of the week, um, just random kind of shape stickers, stuff like that. So I kind of just flip through here when I need 
So in here is, like it says, it has date, icon, and to-do stickers. This one has more, this one has circle, square, colored, black and white, word and phrase stickers. So it's basically like label stickers. So I just have a bunch of labels in here. And these are actually just pockets um, that actually came in this book. Um, and I just cut this, I just cut it out a slit. I cut it at a glance. I cut the corner off just to make it easier for me to pull in and out of the pocket. And it, like I said, it's just labels. So, sorry, it's really super glary. And the next one has Target Dollar Spot planner sets. So Target used to do, put out these planner sets all the time. Um, and I just have them in this thing for when I want to use them. <laughs> And then this one is cardstock stickers. So I have a bunch of Heidi Swap cardstock stickers. Um, and again, these are just pockets that had come with these um, photo albums. So they're just photo album pockets that I've just used to stick the picture, the stickers in. And it works fairly well for me. The next thing that I'm going to go through is these. So basically. I'm not going to flip through each one of them. I'm just, I'll just show you one of them. They are from the Dollar Tree and they're just their photo albums. So for like small little stickers that I have, um, that's what I have in these ones. So this one has my dates, like date stickers, black labels. Um, this one has craft labels. This one has circle labels, um, white, gold, and silver. This one has square labels and rainbow labels. This one has hole punch reinforcements and large white labels. So like they're, um, they're the white labels that come from, uh, they're like a shipping label. And this one also has white labels as well. Okay, so in this bin, there are two of these things that I bought. I got at Daiso Japan. I also got this little container thing at Daiso Japan. And basically what's in here are the current journaling kits that I'm using and then the next one. Typically Cheaply Chic does like sneak peeks on our Facebook group. So once she does a sneak peek, I kind of will know what it's going to be, what the theme is going to be, what the colors are going to be. So I start collecting those items in this next bin. So um, hopefully by the time she does that, I will be done with this one. I can transfer this into there and then have my next bin. That's the hope. Whew, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so down here, um, so right here, this little thing right here is actually a dish rack thing that you, you know, you put your dishes on. Um, it's just a white, I don't know if I can show you. There it is. There you can kind of see. So it has like those, you know, things you just put your dishes in. It. I got it at Walmart at the, um, and like the kitchen organization section um, so that's what this is sitting on and then so it gives me some space underneath to kind of put stuff so I have two bins here these bins both came from the Dollar Tree that I just recently picked up and I am obsessed and in love um, so this one just has a bunch of planner stickers that are just kind of random so I'm hoping to kind of use these up that's why I have them in here because they don't really they just there's no they're just random <laughs> um and then I have another one in here that has a bunch of junk journaling ones so kind of like junk journal-esque type um stickers so they kind of stack on top of each other and sit in there this is my bullet journal and in this blue container is um my bullet journal and then my pins and my washi tape. And then it kind of just sits on top of that box. And then in here I have my stuff for my current collection. And that just sits right there. Okay, <laughs> that is my printer. Obviously, if you didn't know, I have a Epson, um, what is it? XP6100 um, and I did my videos, 
my pictures for my December daily with that and it worked pretty good. So I'll leave a link to that too if you want to check that out. <laughs> this is my tripod that I have and the nice thing about this desk, it it's a corner desk. So it does have a hole back there. So I was able to stick my tripod back there and it's a really long arm. So, and it's flexible and movable. So I can kind of move it where I need it to be. So this is another section that I have and it's sitting um, right next to, it's on the other side of that side that I was just at. So it has um, just some, these are kind of some decorative pieces, some decorative pieces that I have that my sister got me. They're Ray Dunn. My glue sits in there. <laughs> this is the glue bottle I just used, bought. And then I've got all of my scissors, rulers, this little container thing I got at Hobby Lobby years ago. And I don't actually like the pattern anymore, but I, but it works out so well that I just keep it. And then this is where I keep my happy planner. Um, these are a bunch of just labels. And then I have like a notebook back here that I keep notes on. And then I have this little turny thing with all of my pins in it. All right. So under here I have, again, this is a, one of those little, this is actually from the Dollar Tree. It's one of those little, um, bent, those little, what are they called? Desk. Oh no, this one's not from the Dollar Tree. This one's from Walmart too. This is the same thing uh, on the other side. The dish rack thing that I got at Walmart. Um, this is the same thing, but it's just the one side. It's just, it's the smaller one, not the longer one. And it's perfect because these little containers that I got at the Dollar Tree, I can fit three in there and they're basically little drawers now, made them into little drawers. So let me back up a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So this is a little drawer that I have all of my glues in. So my glue stick, my A6000, my red line tape, pop dots, they all sit in that thing. This one has my crocodile. Um, it has my tab punch, which should not be in here. Um, it has my tools, like my beading tools, um, crocodile, corner rounder, hole punch that sits in here. And then this one has my um, oxide inks that I use mostly. And then just a bunch of just rant little journaling cards. These journaling cards are kind of just ones that I can use pretty much with anything. They're just plain. Um, so I like to have them close by so I can just grab them if I want a journaling card for something. So that's what sits in there. These bins are my washi tape. And this is literally all I have. I've condensed it down to literally these boxes. And I'm not buying any more washi tape. So... Um, <laughs> I, I have plenty. So basically what I've done is I labeled them all. These little containers I got at Daiso Japan. So basically you'll see a theme. It's either Daiso Japan or Dollar Tree <laughs> um, or Walmart <laughs> or Tuesday morning. There's some Tuesday morning stuff in here too. Um, but basically I just labeled these um, labels came from the Dollar Tree and they're nice. They're nice. They can actually fit quite a few rows of, uh, tape and I can just look at them from the top and you know basically see what I want to see so they keep them pretty pretty I'm pretty happy with the storage base because literally I can just grab it and then use it and put it right back I do want to talk about this little refrigerator it is an actual refrigerator and it does work and I have it turned off right now but basically I have my one cup of water in there, but it can fit like four bottles of water. <sighs> that is yummy. Um, so that little refrigerator is sitting there. Now let's talk about this little shelving unit thing. You'll have to excuse the cord that's running right here because again, I'm a YouTuber and light is my friend and my enemy. Um, so I do have a light there. This shelving unit is also from Ikea. I'll make sure I leave a link down below. So let's go over what's in here. Just excuse the cord. It's a light I have to have on right now or it will be dark in here. 
All right, so I have rolls of tickets that I bought at an estate sale. And literally it's just kind of aesthetics, more decoration than anything. I think it looks cool there. Give you a little better angle. So these are paper clips. I got these containers at the Dollar Tree. I um, love them because they fit perfectly in this spot. So I've got different, they're all organized and all that. So that's what sits on that shelf. And um, this shelf is adjustable. These shelves are adjustable. So I was able to kind of maneuver them to fit that what, what I wanted. Here are my, I'll just take the light off and then the cord won't be there. So these are all of my Cheaply Chic collections. As you can see, I have many of them and they're also beautiful sitting here. I love this little area of my craft space. I love walking into this and seeing it. I've only got a little bit of shelving space left. I don't know what I'm gonna do once that shelving space runs out, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. <laughs> and then I have another little shelf up here that has these little um, boxes that, again, got at the Dollar Tree. Um, this has like sprays and gesso, my little small glue gun, paints, date stamps, and post-it notes. And then up here, whoop, this is a more decorative area. So I just have a bunch of different mason jars in here. Money, woohoo! And then I've got a bunch of, I'm also a gamer, so I've just got a little gaming thing. So this is all decorative stuff up here. All right, guys, so this is really tiring, <laughs> I have to tell you. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video now, and I'm gonna show you, I've got a little bit more of uh, to go. Um, I want to show you my shelving unit and then my inside closet space. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the stop it now. And then I will load the next one um, tomorrow. So I'll try to record that tomorrow and get that uploaded um, for the next day after I record this and video. So stay tuned for part two. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you again tomorrow.